Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna start talking about cycle counts. Uh, so the first video we're gonna talk about is cycle count location maintenance. Um, in order to start doing cycle counts for a location, you must have this set up for every location. If you go and try to run a cycle count report, it's gonna tell you there's no items to pull because you haven't done this initial setup. Um, obviously you need to do this for each location. So this is location 10 in our system. You have a couple different options on how you want to count by. Obviously the most common is item. Uh, you may want to do bin. Uh, you can also do ABC class or put away rank. Just note that if you do uh, an ABC class or a put away rank, there's an extra step. Uh, and I'll kind of cover that here in one second. Uh, number of cycles per year is basically how often we want to count this. Uh, we're counting by items. So how many times do I want to count my items? So I want to count them four times a year is my goal. Uh, <clears throat> counts per day, that's you telling the system how many actual physical days in the years that you're expecting to actually do counts. Um, this will help when it's going to determine how many uh, counts to actually put on a cycle count report. Um, so be honest. Don't try to, you know, put a lot more days in there than you're really going to do. Um, so four and 120 is a pretty common setup. Count type, uh, you can either do on hand or available. I don't advise available. Um, on hand is generally what I recommend. On hand will catch your um, stuff even if it's allocated to an order. Available will have that differing in amount based on allocation. So on hand is generally your safe bet. And there's other options when you go to actually creating a cycle count report, which we'll cover in another video. Uh, and then you have options if you want to include non-stock, you can say none, on hand only, or transaction or on hand. Um, on hand is generally what I recommend. Uh, you can also suppress any bins that have a zero quantity on hand and you can hide requisition items. Um, you can delete this for some reason if you wanted to and in P21 it never really deletes it, it's a soft delete. Uh, now I wanna jump back up real quick. Um, the ABC class or put away rank, it, 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 they kind of both do the same thing as far as your extra step you have to do. Once you click on this, you'll notice this class rank tab has now lit up. You'll need to go in there and put, um, you know, if I want to say class A, I want to count that, you know, six times a year and I can come in here and add class B. I'm okay with only counting four times a year and so on and so on. Um, Cause you want to make sure you're counting your, your, your A, if you're counting by ABC class, you want to count your A items more than you want to count, you know, your D items cause your D items aren't going to move as fast. Um, and again, you just hit save and that's done. This needs to be done before you can move on to anything else in cycle counts. Um, if you guys have any comments on cycle counts, put it down below. Also stay tuned for the videos. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.